This video is going to walk you through deploying an Angular application that uses Firebase. This will work for any Angular application so long as you already have added your Firebase credentials to both the environment.ts and environment.prod.ts files. If you want to follow along and deploy the same app shown in this video, you can clone the repo located here at github.com slash jackblack slash ngfireauth. So I'm over here in our Firebase docs. Firebase hosting provides fast and secure hosting for your web app and your static and dynamic content. So with a single command, you can quickly and easily deploy your web apps and serve both static and dynamic content to a global content delivery network. So what you want to do is inside of your Firebase console, go ahead and choose the project that you're using. I'm currently inside of this GMAPS NG Weather app. And I'll click on hosting. And we'll click on get started. So the first thing you need to do is install your Firebase tools. So you can copy over this command right here. And for now, I'll close out my Explorer and open up my terminal. And then I'm just going to paste in the install command. By installing Firebase tools, it will give us command line access to the command of Firebase. So now I can say Firebase dash dash version. And I can see that I'm on version 5.0.1. Okay, so that was the first step. Now we'll hit continue. Now in order to fully deploy our website, it's a three step process. First, we need to log into Firebase, and then we need to initialize our project and then we can actually deploy our website. So the first thing to do is to log into Firebase. So we can hit Firebase login. This says that I'm already logged in with my authenticated email. And if you're not currently logged in, you'll see a prompt with a available authentication login. So you can just choose whichever one is connected to your Firebase console. And now I can type Firebase init. So we get the message, you're about to initialize a Firebase project in this directory, inside of our weather directory right here. And that is correct. I currently have a weather folder that contains my Angular application. So do I want to proceed? Yes. And I'm going to be deploying a Firestore project. So I can use the space bar to select Firestore. And then I also want to select hosting, also with the space bar. And then I'll hit enter. And I need to select a Firebase project for this directory. So this is again my GMAPS NG Weather App project. I'll hit enter. What file should be used for the Firestore rules? We'll use the default file. And this is created on initialization. Same thing for our Firestore indexes. I can just hit enter. What do you want to use as your public directory? So for this directory, I want to use my dist folder. So when we build our project, it's going to output inside of a dist folder, which is going to be located again inside of the weather folder. It will create a dist folder. And now it's asking if I want to configure this as a single page app. And yes, I do. Okay, Firebase initialization complete. So I'm going to kill this terminal and I'm going to reopen it to give us some more space. Now the next thing we need to do is actually build our project. And before we build our project, I want to show you what's inside of our angular.json folder, file rather. So inside of our angular.json, I'm going to hit control F and search for options. So notice here under options, we have an output path and the output path for angular six is inside of the dist slash weather. So it's going to create a new weather folder in order to contain our production build files. And I actually don't want that. I want our output path to be located directly inside of our dist folder. Okay, now I can open up our terminal back again. 
and I will use our ng build dash dash prod command. And it looks like it successfully built our project. So now I'll open up our dist folder and here you can see the output for our production build. And the main two functions that this performs is it compiles everything into JavaScript. It minimizes and it uglifies. So it gives us a much smaller version of our application that can be run within a URL. And now we're ready to deploy our application. So to do that, I just need to say Firebase deploy. And if everything went as planned, we should see this deploy complete message with a project console URL for this is where our project is located, along with an actual hosting URL indicating where our live website should be located. So for this, I'm just gonna hover over, I'm gonna hit control and then click on my link. Okay, now you can see that my website is now currently live at the URL. So I should be able to go ahead and log in with my Google account. Okay, I get my welcome message, hit okay. I'll click on my saved cities. And here you can see that everything is working just like it did inside of our development environment. Now, if I go back into my hosting area of my Firebase console, I'll click finish because we finished everything. We deployed our Firebase app. And here we can see that we've now currently deployed our application located at this default URL. And if I wanted to, I could connect a domain. So here you could actually deploy a real domain name that you can buy off Namecheap or GoDaddy. And then you can input it here, verify the ownership, go live, and then it's going to be live on the internets. Uh, but keep in mind, this is a currently live real URL that should be running that anybody can navigate to.